Hello, everybody. This is your daily real estate practice exam question. And I'm doing kind of like a little bonus one today because I saw this one and I wanted to jump into it. So let's look at the question. A contract where the seller agrees to pay the listing agent a commission if that agent manages to sell the property. However, if the owner sells, them, sells it themselves, the agent gets no commission. So there's a couple of words in here that are kind of throwing people. Um, and people, I think, tend to overanalyze this question. They overanalyze the wording of this and all that kind of stuff. So what we really need to do is we need to understand the listing agreement types that we have, what options there are, and we need to look at the answers, okay? So let's go to the first one, exclusive authorization and right to sell listing, okay? So this is one of our exclusive listing types, and it is that of an exclusive right to sell. Now, when the listing agent is given the exclusive right to sell the property, the seller doesn't reserve the right to sell it on their own without paying a commission. So what happens is in an agreement that is exclusive and the listing agent is given the right to sell the listing, the seller is relinquishing their opportunity to sell the home on their own without paying a commission. So this one actually says, if the owner sells it themselves, the agent gets no commission. So in this situation, they would be relinquishing the right to sell the listing to the agent in exclusivity. So that would be incorrect. Net listing. Net listings are legal in some states, illegal in other states. In the state that I teach in primarily, it's illegal, which is New Jersey. And a net listing is basically that of one where the seller states a net price and anything above that net price the uh, the listing agent would receive as a commission or compensation. That has nothing to do with what's up here, okay? That strictly has to do with fees, pricing, stuff like that. So that's probably not going to be the best answer. Let's go to D because I know C is the answer. D, an open listing. So in an open listing, there is no exclusivity, meaning that there isn't one agent, okay? Now, also keep in mind this. There's, they're not saying that there's exclusivity. So you're probably sitting there saying, hmm, it could be an open listing. And the answer to that is yes, it, it probably, it could be, right? However, the listing that they are more than likely describing in this is that of an exclusive agency listing. And an exclusive agency listing is one where the seller gives exclusivity to one brokerage. They are the agency representing it. However, the seller has not relinquished the right to sell, meaning they have reserved that, okay, for themselves to hold as an option. So D, although it might be a good answer and we could... Listen, I could shoehorn that in there as an option. I could give you scenarios where that could be. Yes. However, the better answer is exclusive agency because that's the textbook definition of what an exclusive agency is. Okay? So that's it, guys. Hope you had a good one and have a good evening.